All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Trenny and C. Uh, today we have another kind of uh, in the series of the peat bombs. We got the Lag of Bowen 16 year old. I know a few of you are looking forward to that. So uh, stick around and find out what we think. First off, just uh, to our legions of Twitter oh, fans, um, just the legions, we can rise a, raise a legion in, in our name and days. Sure. Anyway, it's whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, so this is for at OCD Whiskey, at Fell underscore Smiler, at Sandeep Badgetia, sorry, sorry. And at Jason Veswani and at Rather Be on Isla. And I would rather be on Isla right now with this guy. Yeah. Um, with what guy? With me? <laughs> with this guy. Oh, okay. But this is much better. Can I come? This is much better. Than <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Beautiful looking label. Very classy, I think. Classy or classic? Classic and classy. These are both. This uh, Lego Bowen 16 year old is probably considered a modern day classic in the world of whiskey. There you go. Pour ourselves a decent glass here. Well, there we go. Right and away, right away you gotta look at that color there. Yeah. And this is another one that kind of shows that, uh, that amber dark straw. Yeah, amber dark straw. Usually, a lot of the time when they put these uh, whiskeys into a green bottle, it's because it's naturally aged. So that's uh, because the no color added. Yeah, no color added. The consumer just assumes it's going to be uh, darker. a bit darker anyway. So sometimes they're quite a bit lighter. It still has nice color. To yeah, it, it really does. Yeah, I mean it's not amazing, but it's solid. It's it's solid. a good color. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so Legavoin, again, is from um, Isla, along with Lafroig and Bricolati and Ardbeg and a whole series of different uh, heavily peated whiskeys. Um, this is relatively smoky and peaty. So we are at nose right now, and we're going to tell you a little something, something about that. Mm. To me, I instantly get this kind of, it's like this coffee cake. Mm. Coffee drizzle. Okay. <laughs> That's what yeah. I get out of it. It's, yeah. a, it's a little bit because the smokiness of like a, a roasted coffee bean, you know? Okay. I'm getting like, mm. um, I'm getting a bit more of a, like a pear apricot as okay. well to that. And, but it is more of a medium smoke for sure. Mm -hmm. It's definitely more of a medium smoke on this one. A little bit heavier on the smoke factor. There's and then the salt. So like again, a salty sea. Yeah, and I wrote salted, or I, I, I was thinking <laughs> salted toffee, mm -hmm. along with that kind of uh, toffee drizzle. So there is that sweetness like to that. it. I like that. There is mm -hmm. that um, smoke and peat to it. I mean, Lagavulin is a regular, re a relatively highly peated whiskey in the mm -hmm. world of whiskey. So mm -hmm. you're definitely, if you've never smelt what that smells like before, you're gonna get it with this one. Especially if you smell it next to something that's not as heavily smoked, mm -hmm. you can really feel it then, you know, like you, you get a, a taste for what it's got in there, yeah. like what it's packing. And so another, packing heat. one of the other thoughts I was thinking was, I'm just gonna walk through that. <laughs> yeah, it's packing some heat, okay, we get that, it's fine. But, Fair enough. I was just, the reason I was going through that is because I have such a, a good note here that- Okay, get to it, it must be amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. What it reminds me of on the nose is when you put a marshmallow in the fire and it catches fire and then the, the black char on the outside of the marshmallow and you eat that. Brilliant. Isn't that brilliant? <laughs> so when you're getting as vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> a smoky charred vanilla marshmallow. Whatever. No, it's, it's great. Oh. <laughs> also, if you take a big whiff, I go like this. 
Oh. <laughs> it yeah. reminds me of old books. <laughs> Maybe it's just this box. Maybe it's the box, but... <laughs> anyway, shit. Okay, get your shit together. Anyways, that's, that's Let's good. Taste Let's it. taste yeah. it. Right. People have turned this video off now. <laughs> They're like, fuck. Thanks. Mm, it is very, very, uh, like, really rich and in your face. Mm. Um, it has that, um, chimney flue has been closed and all the smoke plumed in. Yeah. Kind of flavor to it, right? Yeah. You get a mouthful of smoke, right? Mouthful you know, like of smoke and heat, mm. smoke in the fire, and then, oh, yeah. oh. except it's like a sweet caramel. Yeah, in a good way. Salted smoke. Yeah. 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 I like it. Maybe you're putting um, seaweed, dry seaweed on the fire. I usually do that. Yeah, that's how I start my fires. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a medium smoke flavor to it, you know? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's creamy. It's uh, like a, got that kind of like, on the, I shouldn't move to finish right now, but it has like that a pudding texture on, yeah. on the finish. Yeah, I was gonna still add like that woody tobacco flavor to it. Woody tobacco. A little sure. woody tobacco yep. on there. Um, I also kind of get this uh, on the sweet side of things, like white cake, like the, the buttercream white cake. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, you don't. You're not. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's but I do. I do get that. I'm sure you do. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's just, you know what? It's mild and it's easy drinking. Like, as far as these smoky peaty ones, like, it's a little bit, has a little bit of a nice flow to it, you know? I yeah. like it. I think because it's been mellowed in a cask for 16 years, it, uh, it rounds off the flavors quite well. Certainly. And that's what I'm, that's what I'm getting at. Yeah, yeah it's, it's got a nice mellowness to it. It's rounded. It's it's just it's solid. Yeah, I really like it. It's a solid whiskey. So yeah. to all you people out there that have wanted to see a legable in sixteen review, uh, well, <laughs> we're sorry we disappointed you. <laughs> Here it is. Um, uh, viscosity. Mm. Uh, I wrote nothing. I didn't write anything. It's a it's a medium to thinner kind of viscosity. It's a little bit oily, but it's you know it's yeah. I think because it's, it know? is aged for a decent amount of time, there are the oils there, and you can stick it to the side of the glass, and the, the legs take a little while to run on there. Yeah. but So it's a little syrupy and oily, and that smoke in the yeah. finish, especially, yeah. just, you get the smoke, I think, yeah. the most on the finish. Oh, for sure. You get it a bit on the nose, along with the smoke. I mean, yeah, you, it's smoke throughout. Yeah. It's smoke throughout. Yeah. There's no doubt about that, but uh, score it out. Okay, I uh, gave it a 26.5, and you gave it a 24.41, which is 25.45 out of 33. It's a good number. I think that's good. Anything over 25 is, is nice. Yeah. 24, 25 is good. Right? Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, we rarely, <laughs> rarely gets higher than mm, 27. 27, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. getting high. So it's a good it's a good whiskey and definitely uh, if you're gonna spend your money on a peat bomb like this, might as well go get the like the Lagavulin 16. Yeah. Um, another for a couple of dollars more, the Lagavulin 12 year old is a cask strength whiskey, so mm. might be even worth a little bit of kick. Yeah, a bit yeah. more kick. This, but however, is oh no, it's 43 percent alcohol, so it's it's got a little bit more than the standard bottling. Not much, but yeah. not much. It could, if it bottled even with three percent more, forty-six percent, this guy could be yeah, a out legend of, out of the park. Yeah, yeah. Well, hey, thanks for watching again, and uh, check us out on Twitter. Check us out on Facebook. Um, subscribe on YouTube. Trainingwithc.com. Trainingwithc.com. We do some breaking news on there. We do photos. You can submit your photos. You can see our photos. And the best thing about these videos, you guys, is just come along and drink with us. Yeah. What more? What? Grab a glass. glass. Yeah, that, that's probably the best fun you can have on a lonely night. At four in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever time you watch whatever. this video. Okay. Anyway, anyway hey, thanks for watching. Cheers. Train and see.